Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping in with me today. I have a quick shopping haul for you today. It's a mishmash of different stores that I went to because I've been doing a bit of shopping lately. Don't tell my husband. And I just want to share with you guys what I what I got. I only got a few things from each store, so it wouldn't have made much sense to do a separate shopping haul for each place that I went to. So I'm just going to put them all together. And I hope you enjoy some of the things that I got. Hopefully, if you like anything that you see, you'll be able to find them at your local locations as well. So first, we're going to start with Dollar Tree. Okay, first, I found these paper pads that I am absolutely in love with. You get 36 pieces in each for $1. Cannot beat that. And I'll kind of flip through so you can see some of the prints that you get. How cute. I've already used one design, actually I believe it's this one, in my planner and I'm so looking forward to using more in there. I mean, look at that. These will be perfect for my full boxes. And these are a couple more paper pads that I found. So pretty. So pretty. All right. So that's the paper pad. Next, I got several sticker sets. These holographic stars and hearts. Oh my gosh. So cute. I actually accidentally picked up these hot air balloons and airplanes, but they are also very cute. I'll probably give these to the kids. And let them do with these what they will. But these, uh, I typically on nail polish orders. If you don't know, I do make handmade nail polishes that I sell on Etsy. I will link my shop below if you're interested. I um, On my shipping labels, I always include a holographic sticker. So I'm always on the lookout for, for those. Then I found these butterflies that I'm so in love with. Look at the print on those. They have the pink hearts and flowers. These are so cute. I cannot wait to use these in a planner layout. And I also got these little holographic bears and hearts. So these will also be for a layout in my planner. Cannot wait to use them beautiful and then I got these as well follow your heart happy hour true cool freedom today tomorrow <laughs> been there done that these are really cute I love the colors of these and then happy wish enjoy good times birthday party fun lovely if there's a birthday coming up that will be cute for me to use it's kind of big though so I'll probably be leaning more toward these small small words and um, stickers. And I also grabbed these Jot Brand paint palettes. There are six in the pack. So cute. I'll probably, I really didn't need these because I have one already. And once you have one, there's really no need to have more, but I grabbed them anyway. Um, they're the plastic little paint palettes. And I use these for nail polish when I'm doing dots or designs on my nails where I'll put a little nail polish in. So yeah, these will be very useful when I'm doing manicures with dots or designs. However, like I said, I'm not sure when I'll even get to using them because I already have, have one and you just clean it out with nail polish remover. Next, I got these Jot Brand poster sheets. They're holographic as well. If you can't tell, I love sparkly holographic. What's that on there? Excuse, <laughs> excuse that. Um, I love these blue kind of wave designs. So you get four sheets of each. And then these pink hearts, very, very cute. These will also be used in my planner and I will possibly 
find some DIYs or, or something to use with these because I, I can't use all of those in my planner. Okay, next I got these wooden rulers in pink and purple. I'm always using rulers and I typically use the little um, acrylic or plastic kind of transparent rulers from Dollar Tree. They're pretty flimsy and I was excited when I saw these two for a dollar. So literally 50 cent per ruler could be fit. And I grabbed some work gloves because um, you may not know, but I do a lot of woodworking and on my table saw and such. So I figured it was time for a new pair of gloves and for a dollar, why not grab those? Next, I got this little precision screwdriver set. Uh, I see these every single time I go into Dollar Tree, but never really paid much attention to them. But I've been doing projects where I need the smaller sizes and we just don't have the smaller sizes here in our toolkit. So I picked these up and I, I think I'll be getting plenty of use out of those. And I got these sassy chic nail buffers as you can see this one is already opened <laughs> and has been put to use i've only tried it once and i liked it pretty well this is pretty much the same thing um i think this one has four steps it's four steps and this one has set and so i haven't really read to see what the extra steps on here do versus this but i grab both why well, decide when they cost a dollar? So I just got both of them. I got these little storage containers here. I'll be using these in a DIY for my fish, my fish bowls, um, for my filters. If you're interested in that type of thing, you stay tuned. I may do a video on how I set up my my bowls and my tanks and my uh, stumps and filters. So I grabbed these for that purpose. Grab some AA batteries because my son has been bugging me to get him new batteries for his tornado maker. He has a tornado maker that creates a whirlwind tornado inside of a little container of water that he's in love with because he's so enamored with weather and natural disasters, especially tornadoes. So I got these for him. Got this notepad and note flags to go in my planner as well. I'm really not sure what I'm going to use them for exactly in the planner, but they were really cute. Love the colors, so I just grabbed them. This is a repurchase um, foam mounting tape by the original Super Glue. When I tell you these are so strong, they hang on to pretty much anything you could want to hang up they do i love this i am about three-fourths of the way through my first package from hanging things on the wall um from power strips and stuff like that they hang on so i just went ahead and grabbed another pack next i got this little bank it does not match my craft room um at all but it was so cute i couldn't pass it up it's a piggy bank and i figure by the time i fill it up you won't see the shoes back there anyway but so cute i just i couldn't leave it behind i need to open it up and figure out what this is looks like a glue strip or something um glue residue maybe but i open it up and clean it out need new shoes donations accepted here so freaking cute Okay, and I grabbed this super soft microfiber cloth. Uh, it has a picture of a car on it, so I think they the intended use is for your car. However, I grabbed it to see if it will work for cleaning my glasses. I have some microfiber cloths that work really well, but I like to rotate them out um, between washings. So I just grabbed this one to see how it will work not sure yet but if it doesn't work well for my glasses i'm sure i'll find something else to do with it like cleaning tv screens or something i also got these t 
10 Sure Fresh Reusable Mini Containers with this. There are 10 of them. Um, there are pictures of what looks like Skittles for M&M's to show them what you can do with them. Uh, again, I'll probably be using these for my fish tanks uh, to store fish food and stuff like that. And lastly, from the Dollar Tree, got these little white bins. They keep in with the color theme of my craft room. So I just grab these for storage. Not exactly sure what I'll be putting inside of them yet, but just grab those. And finally, from Dollar Tree, I got the two count bubble mailers. I got five of them, so that's 10 total. I'll be using these for uh, shipping nail polish orders. I typically order my, my mailers from Amazon, but I'm out right now and I just happen to be in Dollar Tree, so I grabbed these to tie me over for the next day or so before my ones from Amazon get in. And that is it from Dollar Tree. So next we'll go into Target Dollar Spot, which is not much at all. So first I got these clear acrylic makeup organizers. Very cute and they were both $3 so I couldn't pass those up. Um, of course these are for like makeup brushes and lipsticks. However, I doubt that that's what I'll be using them for. I'll probably figure out something to do with them as far as the desk organization, but that has yet to be seen. That means I probably didn't need them, but I grabbed them anyway. And then I also got this clear acrylic stapler. My stapler had just broken and I purchased, I think, one of the little tiny mini ones from Dollar Tree to kind of tie me over. And I saw this one and thought it just was super cute. It was five bucks at Target Dollar Spot. And then I got Washi. Who doesn't love Washi? These are the Washi tapes that I picked up. This one is very interesting. I couldn't tell if the actual clear part was part of the design or if it was just this kind of orange color wrapped around there because it's so small. Let's see. Let's open this up. And all little washes were $1. Defeated by washi. If I can figure out how to get it off of the roll. There we go. Oh, it is super cute. Oh my gosh. I picked it up not even realizing what it was or how much I was going to like it. Look at that. They're pumpkins. So of course we'll be using that soon in the October spread. And this kind of fuchsia color with silver stars and then a sky blue glitter washi. I actually left this washi out of the Target dollar spot. But... This is my favorite washi that I picked up. Absolutely beautiful. This mint green color with iridescent glitter. I love this. So I had to go back to put this, make sure I got this in the video because I really wanted to show you guys that. And that is all from Target Dollar Spot. Like I said, it was just a few things. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from Tuesday morning. First, I got these 
reactive foil rolls, which I was so excited to find these at Tuesday morning. They retail for $10 at Hobby Lobby. So this is the one I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. It's a copper color that kind of matches my living room and my kitchen. So I've been doing some labeling and, and things like that with this one. $9.99. I found these for $3.99. So excited. And I kind of got colors. Not kind of. I did get colors that match my craft room and office. Check out this holographic silver. $3.99. Can you believe it? You get quite a bit on the roll considering what type of projects you do with this reactive foil. If you guys would like to see a video on using this, let me know. And I found reactive foil sheets in this gold holographic for $1.99. Super excited about these. I, I can't wait to start using them in projects. Okay, next I got glitter tape for $149. There is 26 feet per roll, and I got three of them. I already opened one and have been using it. Love this stuff. It really doesn't matter the brand to me. Um, I love it. I use it in my planner all the time and with certain DIY projects. These are the washies that I picked up from Tuesday morning. They were all a dollar for the small rolls. Not the small rolls, but the individual rolls here. This blue with the gold hearts. It's white with the gold decorations. I, I've never... I've never really been a gold girl. I love silver. I love bronze, copper, everything but gold. But lately, it seems like everything I pick up is gold for some reason. Maybe my tastes are changing. And I got this roll for $3.99, which I thought was an amazing deal. The oranges and peach type colors. Um, this first one is gorgeous. Cannot wait to use these. And I'll be, clearly, I need uh, an organization system for my washi because I have so much of it. So look for a DIY from me soon for washi organization. And the last thing I got from Tuesday morning is this glitter, these glitter sheets. 16 by 20 inches premium stack and they kind of have some ideas of things you can do with it not sure yet what i will be using them for but it's glitter paper could i pass these up of course not look at this color look at that color that is gorgeous so i'll definitely be doing something here in the office with this because it matches my color scheme perfectly. Another gorgeous color. Cannot wait to make use of these. Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this quick shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up. Hopefully this will inspire you to run out and grab something that you saw that you may have liked or could use. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know what you thought of this and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.